Hi, my name is Sheila, and I've built a flight simulator for my class. Um, so these are the different parts. Um, so there's a control board, and here you have buttons to control the flaps. Um, there's a kill switch, which will turn everything off. There's a pause button. You can control your landing gear if you're uh, flying a certain type of aircraft. And here are the, um, the rudder pedals, which control yaw, as well as the toe brakes. Um, since planes have differential braking, so you can control each brake individually. Um, next, here we have our control column. Um, which controls um, roll and pitch, and uh, this uses a, an inertial measurement unit, and uh, this yeah, runs through I to C using the PIC32 module, which we have over here. Um, and basically, what happens is that uh, communicates with my computer through serial communication, um, and then there's a Python script that's running at the same time which essentially acts as the glue between that and my actual flight simulator and that flight simulator is Google Earth. Um, so I'm going to give you a quick demo. So um, here is Google Earth. So we're going to go into the flight simulator. Today we're going to be flying the F-16 from um, LAX. You can choose what airport you want to fly out of. So we're going to start the flight. Um, and here is our throttle, and it's controlled, uh, it uses an ADC on the pick to work. So I'm um, going to give control over here, and I'm going to center my stick and take off. Just kidding, I didn't actually run my Python script. Um, so here I am running my Python script. Um, sometimes it doesn't like to work. you working. Okay, great. Now it's working for some reason. Um, so yeah, I'm going to center my stick. I'm going to slowly ease into power until we're taking off. I'm going to add in flaps to make it easier to take off. Uh, flaps increase your lift, but also your drag, so it helps you... Um, okay, now you're giving a little bit of up stick. Just a little bit of up stick just until it takes off, which it'll do pretty naturally. Um, so now I'm just going to level out. And here we have Los Angeles, as you can see. Um, I'm going to decrease my flaps a little bit. I'm going to turn off my landing gear. Um, and I'm just going to keep climbing until we get some altitude here. Um, and then here are some of the features include a pause button. So here we're paused. Yeah. Now we're back again. Um, so this obviously controls pitch. Oh, and I can pull back up, control myself, um, and roll as you can see. And using my rudder pedals, I can also do yaw. So we're yawing to the left, yawing to the right. And my program also has a feature where if you um, center the stick and the rudder pedals, and if you hit C, it'll recalibrate itself. Um, and make that your new center. And it mm -hmm. also recalibrates on um, upon setup, so you want to start everything. Um, so yeah, here we can, I mean, I can try to land. It might not end very well, but it's up to so, you. So the, 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 there's a, a response time, but that's partly the plane dynamics, right? Yes, it is. So um, normally in planes, like for example, if I'm turning, I'm going to use um, the stick as well as my rudder just to make it like a coordinated turn. But um, like in a normal plane, if you if you turn it, you also have to hold your stick somewhat in the middle while holding that turn. And then to get out of the turn, you would use the opposite controls and um, roll out using um, the same amount of um, uh, stick as well as as well as yaw um, to control to control that and like have a coordinated turnout. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, this is this is my flight simulator. I can you know try to land. Uh, just on here because I probably won't be able to find the airport. Um, but so I'm just going to aim at the ground. I'm going to cut back my power. Uh oh, uh oh, I'm not very good at it. Cut back my so power. So you're going to land on a road down here in some subdivision, huh? Yes, I am. Um, <laughs> increase my flaps. And 
and as you can see it increases the lift. And I'm also going to put on my gear which is going to give me some drag and slow me down further. And I'm going to aim at the ground. This part's kind of hard. <laughs> I'm slowly going to ease back as I approach the ground, and I crash it. You crash it. <laughs> Boom. So now you can do it. But this is uh, also a good time to show, uh, you know, like the kill switch. So if I wanted to, uh, if I wanted to exit everything, I would hit this. It both exits this and closes the serial communication um, so that it no longer uh, is transmitting data through the serial line, and my program also will not recognize anything that you do after you hit the kill switch. Just so you, you the, the, it's the, the computer's back under local control? Yes. Cool, thank you.